boy, when I tell you this episode was the definition of everybody can get it, everybody can catch some, catching strays, taking a bullet to the chest. Out when I tell you every dang near every one of them ladies caught a stray in this um in this little dinner sit down that they had at the end of this episode. Um, Sunny, Mel, Destiny, um, Tisha, Shoe, <laughs> and Tisha, Miss Mamas, we gonna get into you. Like you, you are not as good at hiding your messiness as you think you are. Like you, you don't know how to, it's just like the way you're being messy and going about it is just all wrong. It's like, if you gonna be messy, just don't be so obvious in your forcing of the mess, right? Somebody who knows how to be messy the right way, that that requires a little bit of finesse, a little bit of restraint. Sometimes we wanna get this started so early, which is what Tisha did last time when she was with Kimmy too. Tisha keeps rushing like everybody blow, like getting to the stuff. And I'm like, girl, what did the producers tell you this season? Because I don't know if y'all noticed in all the scenes, Tisha is chop, chop, getting right to it. And I won't forget how Kimmy was looking at Destiny, like, I mean, looking at uh, Tisha, like, we was gonna get there when uh, when she confronted Destiny about Kimmy being friends with Sunny still. So, yeah, Tisha, girl, you're gonna get a little bit Sunny, Destiny, all y'all, Melody. So let's not waste the time. Let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, if you haven't noticed already, if you this is your first time hearing my video with the new audio, your girl got you a little, she got me a little mini mic, okay? And we're gonna see um, how you like the audio for this because um, I want to get a little bit more better audio quality. So y'all drop down in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel about uh, how this mic is working for the video, okay? So we open up the episode. Obviously, it's the it's the day after all that mess went on. And Nail is um, recapping, sort of, <laughs> sort of, the whole night that it happened with Kimmy. She blanket stated, like a whole blanket statement of just, well, you know, it's just, we really, you know, we was just bumping heads, you know. I, you know, I like Kimmy, but you know, we just so much alike that, you know, it just kind of like, I don't know what happened. And when she went, even when she said Kimmy, even Chris was like, Got into it with Kimmy. Anytime any person uh, on this show probably says a sentence, I got into it with Kimmy, most people's reaction would be that of which Chris, Chris's was, which was Kimmy. Like, because Kimmy don't really, you know, turn up on nobody. The first time we was actually excited to see Kimmy turn up on somebody is when she finally gave Wanda, you know, a few lick backs because it was getting tired watching Wanda come around stirring everybody's shit up, okay? But, um, yeah, she basically was explaining, yeah, you know, she was outside and with Tisha and Mel, and, you know, it was just, it was just so much going on. Um, and, yeah, it just, that's just, it just, just how it is. Hopefully today it'll just be a, a good day. Like, she didn't really get into the nitty-gritty, because, Nell, you know, you know you was out there doing some unnecessary stuff. Um, but all the ladies is getting ready. And Tisha and Kimmy, they down there still pissed off about their bedroom. Y'all drop down in the comments. What do you feel about this bedroom situation? I am stuck in the middle in the aspect of when this episode first came on, I wanted to know, was this a Melody trip, i.e. Melody paid for it, or a cash trip? And at that time, I said, look, if it's a cash trip, then... Kimmy and Tisha should get, you know, their humble abodes. But if this is a male trip, now Tisha, Kimmy, word on the curb is Melody paid for this trip. So if that is true, if she shelled out the ducats to make this trip possible for you ladies, y'all need to be happy with what y'all got because y'all know y'all aren't on good footing with Mel. Y'all know y'all aren't. Y'all don't even like Mel at that. So me as a person hosting an event, and I know I got two heifers coming that don't really put me. The last time, like, we've had nothing but tumultuous issues over the past years. Hell, I don't even trust you because when it came time to let me know about, let me know about my husband cheating, y'all didn't even want to do that. So, like, y'all was not girls' girls 
a lot of the time when it came to that Martell and her divorce. Um, and then not to mention just all like, y'all know, y'all know that for those who've been watching, y'all know the history between Tisha and, 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 um, Kimmy and Mel. Uh, so yeah, y'all sitting there talking about, oh, Destiny gonna be, you know, she gonna be disappointed when she see this, you know, oh, Destiny gonna be in the corner. We only got one bathroom to share. And like Kimmy said, at least we gonna be out of here. I was thinking like, girls, y'all not even gonna be in that room that long. Just shut up. I'm sorry. Like, to me, I don't know why. Because when Tisha went up to Mel, was like, these rooms are just a representation of, you know, the feelings that you have about us. Uh, yeah. So with the room that I gave you, where do you think that puts, puts you on my list or, or in my life? Right. Okay. So the ladies go down to the beach. The ladies' bodies was bodying. Uh, Trisha, she came with that good old 90s, you know, curly bouffant on the front of her head. It was, I liked it, but didn't like it at the same time. Um, yeah, she came on body body, had the mesh pants and everything. Um, um, all of them kind of had, you know, like a little see-through net situation. Um, so everybody's walking out, uh, Mel and her ex is, come on, ladies, you know, we're going to do this trip the Melody Sheree way, you know, um, hold on, you guys. All right, I'm back. Sorry, I had to go get my brother, let him know my mom was outside. Um, so we're worried. Um, the ladies go to the beach, okay? So everybody's outside, body yaddy yaddying, and, you know, just soak up the sun. All the ladies are basically having the same reaction of like, you know, this is what I came here for, you know, relaxation. Hell, Kimmy definitely needed after dealing with her past year, not only with being sick, but dealing with a husband who want to climb up on top of her, even though she don't want it. Oh, Lord Jesus. I just, Kimmy, Kimmy, Kimmy. I tell you the last two years, Kimmy, when I tell you my heart, you broke my heart, Kimmy, because you, you a little bit more like Tisha than a lot of us thought. Um, but nonetheless, you know, they're enjoying the sand. And Shanita is over there with Mel. Stormy is sitting like on the other chair. But no, not Stormy. Was it Stormy, Tisha, and Kimmy? Yeah, Stormy, Tisha, and Kimmy were in the water just kind of like chit-chatting, right? And so they're basically discussing, you know, Destiny coming and them not knowing Sunny was here. So then that's going to make it awkward. And Tisha just kind of like, you know, I'm going to have to fill her in. You know, I'll go meet her in a little bit because nobody's at the house right now. So as they're talking, of course, Shanita, boy, Shanita came there with an assignment. Okay. What, what type money say? I understood the assignment. Huh? <laughs> I understood the assignment. Okay. She understood the assignment. Miss Shanita came in and when I tell you the def definition of shit up and leave, okay? So, uh, but this time she didn't leave. She stayed the whole time on uh, the trip, okay? Um, so she basically like, look, look, didn't I tell you, watch her, watch her. Because last episode, she basically was like, you need to watch her, you know, uh, talking about Tisha. And so Mel, of course, Mel gets in her bag, basically talking about, oh, you know, people want to take me down. And, you know, it's OK if you want to build your own thing, but build your own thing, you know, over there. You know, I done already built what I got over here. And, you know, you just want to come around me and try to dethrone me, you know. And so she was like, yeah, um, that's how people come after you or something like that. She was in when they try to take it because she was like, yeah, Tisha basically was playing it close to her, but don't really like her. And then Mel was like, well, you know, Judas um, was speaking to Jesus before he betrayed him or something like that. And so of course everybody's like, now Mel, I know you're not trying to compare yourself to Jesus. Do I think she was trying to compare herself to Jesus? Not per se, but in the context of the conversation, it was, you know, alluding to as, you know, she is up here and everybody's basically trying to scratch and crawl to get to the top. I mean, is she wrong? Y'all throw it in the comments. Is Mel wrong? Because she has a right to really kind of be popping her shit because all these people really did work against her in the beginning. They really did, you know, try to sabotage her. They really did, you know, wish for her to crash burning in flames. Um, 
especially Martel, especially Martel. And because Martel felt that way, everybody else felt that way. And not necessarily on behalf of Martel, but Marceau was already going to feel that way because he needs Melly to fail so he can basically show Tisha, look, this is what happened if you leave, okay? Martel, he mad. He need her to fail because you you ain't nothing without me. Remember, her last name don't mean nothing. That's what Martel said when she tried to change her name. What, what, what her last name mean? What does yours mean? <laughs> and if it, and if, it, if the, the name Holt does have any ring to it, it's because of Melody. Builder's license, anyone? So, um, yeah, so in, in that conversation, like, everybody was shooting at Mel to basically watch her crumble. And the fact that she just kept rising and rising and rising, it pissed people off. But yet also, there's a part of them that also is a little bit happy for it, especially Tisha. And Tisha's subconscious is just bothered because Mel is doing what she wants to do, but she doesn't have the mitigated gall to do it. She views her leaving Marceau as proving the viewers right. And a lot of women do that in regards to they'll know everybody will be saying something about their man. It should be valid, but it's like staying with him, one, because that's how we're socialized as women. Fight for your marriage, you know, regardless of the fact that this fandom brought back two babies and STD and, you know, got a gambling addiction. But stay with him because for the kids, you know. Um, and so her wanting to stay with Marceau to prove everybody wrong. And it's just like you're really only hurting yourself. Because you could have had what Mel, what Mel got. Because Tisha, had you left Marceau, we would have rolled for you. We, we would have rolled for you, okay? The only reason we not ride for you is because you keep trying to put, act like you got this wool over your eyes and everybody knows that you don't. You're bad at lying, Tisha. I don't know if you noticed this. Um, so as they're sitting down, Sunny gets filled in on the fact that Destiny's coming. And she's like, man, it's whatever. Like, we're going to be cool. All the ladies sitting down, basically talking about, you know, let's have a good time. Let's, you know, actually sit and talk like women and, you know, get through our issues because we want this trip to be a good trip. And so Sunny's like, I'm cool around her. I ain't got no problem. Like, shoot, Sunny kills me. <laughs> Sunny kills me when she always says, I mean, I ain't got no problem with her. Yeah, because you ain't got no reason to have a problem with her. She got every right to have a problem with you. You ain't the one with the problem because you got the man. Like, Sonny gets like, yeah, I don't have a problem with her. Yeah, because you got him. Because you got the man. Like, he, that's why you ain't got no problem. But um, Tisha goes to the house. Destiny comes in, y'all. We already know what type of time she is on because she got her shirt with a mug shot on it. I, and it says, case dismissed. Now, I think she was prepared for a whole bunch to get brought up because when we know on these trips is when she goes down. We, we know that. Okay. So I'm sure sh she was just already in preparation for these hoes trying to take a swing at me. Hell, Sonny might try to take a swing at me because we're obviously not good anymore. And she's already hearing, you know, whispers around town just about Moses talking about her and Sonny's around these ladies. In Destiny's mind, she came on this trip prepared for war, okay? Um, so Tisha shows her the room and was like, hey, this is where we're staying. And Destiny's like, for real? And she's like, yeah, girl, one bedroom, one bathroom. Destiny's like, you can't put baby in no corner. <laughs> and she's like, look, this is our closet. And she was like, is there another bathroom? You can definitely tell Tisha was trying to pack it on. I really feel like had she walked in, act like everything was normal, Destiny wouldn't have really said nothing because which y'all know, you first of all, you're a plus one, okay? So now trying to attend, a plus one is going to share a room, okay? And that's something that Melody told you that y'all was going to have to share. Um, just because you want a rebuttal, no I'm not, doesn't mean she already let you know y'all was going to have to share. So she goes upstairs, you know, cheers to Destiny, she lets Destiny get one sip in. It was like, okay, bitch, man, let me fill you in on the teeth. 
Destiny's all like, here we go. She's like, long story short, Sunny's here. I didn't know she was coming. Melody invited her. Sunny's here. And so Destiny's like, okay, what's that supposed to mean to me? Like, that don't mean nothing. And she's pulling the, you know, I don't care type situation type, you know, energy with it. Like, I don't care. Like, that woman is who she is. Like, I don't got nothing for her. And she's like, I'm an adult. I know how to act. And literally the same shit that Tisha said. Um, so she was like, yeah, you know, but with Sunny, but what about Mel? Like, cause you are on her. And that was another thing too, because when she asked about Mel, she was like, what about Mel? She was like, I don't have to talk to her. I'm like, Destiny, you on this, this trip. What do you mean you don't have to talk to her? I really get confused when people go on people's hosted trips, but then act like you ain't got to talk to the host. Like, Destiny's like, well, y'all can walk with her. I'll walk around her. Girl, you don't think you can say Nan Tapa high? Like, if y'all ain't got no problem, just hit her with the hey, boo. Hey, Mel. You know, nice trip. And nice seeing everybody. Like, you can't ignore, like, Tisha, you can't ignore her. But what you did, Tisha, instead of trying to, you know, let Destiny say, look, we, gonna, we cool. We ain't really got to talk about it. Don't push it. All that went Tisha went on Tisha's one ear and out the other, okay? Because the shit that she did at that dinner was the most. That's all I can say, the most. So speaking of dinner, everybody, you know, after they go shopping and all that type of stuff like that, they get to dinner. Everybody's like, oh, you know, where's Tisha and Destiny? And they're like, they'll meet us here. So you could tell everybody is like on pins and needles, just like, okay. How's this gonna go? The energy, okay, all right. Sunny's like, it's whatever. And then literally the door opens and Destiny walks in first. So she walks in first and Kibby's like, all I can do is just look up. I looked at her face and like, she, I guess she's trying to get a temperature read. And Kibby basically was like, bitch, we in for a hell of a ride at this point. So she comes in, says hi, Sunny, uh, Sunny, but she's clenched, okay? Um, and so they sit down and immediately just start talking about the day, start talking about what happened on the trip. Um, I don't know who got the shit started first. Um, who spoke first? Who got the shit started? Shanita. Shanita. Ooh, Shanita. Y'all, Shanita, she she the one that got us up and started, y'all. So Sorry, I had to puff that in because this was this part got it was too much. Y'all was watching that screen. I was like, mm -mm, shaking my head, mm -mm, shaking my head. So Shanita, she didn't got started basically talking about, um, oh, you know, male, do you miss being married? And she was like, mm -mm, not at all, because Shanita was flirting with the with the um the dude. Y'all know Melody. Melody knows what she's doing too. Melody is. Definitely trying to stick the knife in and twist it when it comes to Martel, especially when, and just be like, she's flirting with the Jamaican man, you know, the Caribbean dudes. She's like, you know, I'm single. Stella got her groove back. She letting dude care. She knows what she doing. She's trying to piss off Martel and, and all the men. It's like that hate the fact that she moved on. Um, and um, so nonetheless, um, Old girl was texting and Melody's like, you single shoe, what's up? And y'all know Tisha had the thing that we were feeling about like, oh, why'd you say she's she single? Like single friends are more fun. And it's kind of like, why are you taking it? Why are you so worried about her saying single? I'm just letting you know single because I'm sorry. You know, we we just like to clarify things because uh, on y'all's parts, you know, the men like to muddy the waters by not, you know, wearing wedding rings and such, okay? So we just like clarification over here. Um, so um, they start talking about how long it was till they got married. And so Melody's like, oh, you know, six months, uh, he proposed, nine months he was engaged, or like, you know, we got married. Um, Tisha, she said like only a year or something like that. And then we get to Sunny. Sunny, how long till you got married? 90 days. <laughs> and everybody just kind of was like, mm hmm. And so then Shanita was like, girl, we got your part. Like, we got what's going on with you. Um, you know, what's your story, Destiny? Like, we've been here in Sunny's story. I'm sure you got a part of the story. Like, what's yours? 
And Destiny straight up, at first, you wasn't trying to get into it, but she was like, all right, okay, let's get started. Basically, girl, you was my friend. You know I was talking to Moses. You would sit there and say that we wasn't together, which we was. Um, even if it wasn't like a we were together together, I was involved with him, and you knew that. Um, and all Sunny keeps just trying to say 90 days, 90 days. And so when Destiny asked for clarification, when did y'all's relationship officially start? Y'all see Sunny answer that question. She was like, from whatever 90 days from December was, because that's when they got married. So everybody's like, well, she and Destiny's going through the text messages. Oh, I miss you. I love you. And he sent her some money. Now, Destiny is giving real. I, I'm not uh, I'm knocking anybody struggling because, bitch, we all struggling. But I, the fact that Moses was still sending you money. And. They asked Sonny, did you know about this? And she was like, no, not at first, but he he, he told me. So she was like, he told me because, you know, he we knew everything was coming out. Right. That's what Sonny, a lot of Sonny and Moses are doing. Like, they got to start telling each other the truth uh, because now everything's going to start hitting the fan. So she's going through the text message and Sonny's like, I don't know what that got to do with me. Like, shoot, that got shit to do with me. Let me call my husband because this is getting stupid, you know? And now everybody's like butting in. Now asking questions. Well, when y'all start dating? When was the wedding? And you know, uh, Destiny, were you friends with her? And so then we got to get clarification on that because Sunny keeps trying to lead into this thing like we were not friends, we were not friends. But they ended up showing a portion that wasn't shown from previous episode where they were discussing Sunny's part as a producer. Like we all have our producers, and it's their job to get involved in our lives. Like know about us, what's going on in our life, da 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 And Sonny, the fact that you were like that with Destiny, quote unquote, her producer in the workforce, the minute you were no longer producing, you were still in contact with Destiny because Destiny asked, okay, were we speaking when you're speaking with him? And you say no, but the timeline ain't matching, Sonny. And you really would do a lot, get a lot further with just simply admitting like, I traded you in for dick. Like, that's what it was, man. Uh, Sonny, you, as you said, and you prayed to God, you know, is this my man? Is this, you know, why should I turn turn away love for me for the rest of my life? Um, For somebody in her mind, or as she wants to justify, she barely knew, essentially. And it's awesome. You want some bullshit, Sonny. Like, you really are. You want some bullshit. And, so, and Storm America Festival, like, everybody want to be worried about Moses. <laughs> Niggas is niggas. Niggas gonna nig. But you, on the other hand, you, you, on the other hand, I gotta watch you. What I say with my good eye, um, because you a woman. And what was it, and, you know, about Destiny, what she had in her, now you want you. And then now they sitting there talking about we sharing dicks. And Sunny's like, we ain't sharing it. She's like, girl, I had them, now you got them. Bitch, we sharing. Like, <laughs> so males just finally, to put a kibosh on it, was like, Okay, when was the day y'all got married? December 9th. Okay, uh, Destiny, when was the last, you know, hey babe, text message? It was um, September, uh, September or whatever. No, October. But then um, um, Sunny said they got together in September. So it's kind of, everybody was kind of like, okay. So now Moses, uh, uh, now, um, so now, uh, what's her face? Sonny want to sit there and make, Moses was playing games, you know, with both of us. Nah, you knew that. <laughs> you knew that already, bitch. So now we kind of get done with Destiny and Sonny. And he, everybody's like, yeah, we cool, good. Yeah, we, we going to go do ATVs tomorrow. Here go Tisha with the bush, okay? I was like, damn, Tisha, like, let it go. Even You could tell even Kimmy rolled her eyes like, Tisha wanted this moment so bad. Oh, Destiny, you know, you don't have anything else you want to talk about? I mean, Mel, this is her trip. You know, y'all don't want to discuss anything. And my, my, Melody's like, there is nothing to discuss. You know, we haven't seen each other in two years. If we needed to talk by now, we would have. And so in trying to, you know, put the lid on it, Tisha basically said, nah, F that and bust the door down. She headbutted that bitch down. It was like, oh, y'all good? But you just said her, 
uh, last night. And so Destiny was like, <laughs> whoa, whoa, for real? Why is it me, you know? And so now Melody was like, I do feel that way. And it is still F her. But as of right now, you know, my feelings are just such a, we don't need to conversate. We good. If there was any conversation that needed to be had, that would have been that. And so basically now Destiny and, and Melody are forced to have this conversation of who betrayed who first, why are you still hanging out with Martel, you know, what really, you know, initiate the situation. Melody and Destiny were doing the same thing to each other. I'll just put it that way, in my, in my opinion. Destiny, uh, not Destiny, Melody, first of all, when she finally clocked you hoes, that y'all knew about what was going on in her marriage for her, it was up and it stuck. Like the minute I see you, like F y'all because y'all really knew and didn't say nothing. And then not only that, y'all are sitting there watching Martel do all this to me in the midst of this divorce and y'all aren't saying anything. Tisha is still mad at Melody, you know, for rising above, you know, and clocking her and throwing out her tea sometimes, but it's necessary because Tisha, y'all not been Melly said y'all not been to ride off my coat uh, off the back of me with this show and not tell y'all's life story either. Okay, so um, yeah, like y'all got to tell y'all shit too, but it doesn't negate the fact that when Martell shit was happening, y'all were of no support to Melody, and so from there it's like, man, y'all. So Melody had a right to feel that way, and then you kept taking shots, Tisha. You kept taking shots, bitch. Like, we not we not going to let that slide. And then when it comes to Destiny, Destiny, the fact that you are still hanging out with Martell, why would you think that would not affect Melody when you know this man is doing the things that he's doing to her? Like, this man literally threatened her with, with revenge, okay? And so for anybody to sit there and be cool with hanging out with him, as Kimmy said, oh, he's still, a, you know, he's a good guy. Is he really? Is he really, Kimmy? So then we got to get to the logistics of, well, you taught her how to cheat. <sighs> Do I think Melody, quote unquote, taught Ariel how to cheat? No. But I think in the, in the guise of them basically, quote, like, I'll just call it teaming up in the sense of Melody was hitting her up. Like, anytime he come over there, let me know. When Destiny was like, didn't I tell you, bitch, like, let's go all black and whoop that bitch, okay? Uh, when Melody was like, I when she was like, remember I said that? And Melody was like, yeah, you said that. And see, that's your problem, Destiny. That's why you're at some jail. You you are super impulsive. Destiny, I realize y'all is super emotionally impulsive. It was not going to do anything for her to go whoop Arion's ass and then still stay with the man. So Melody was playing the long game. Okay, let me know when he come over there. But then Arion started. Uh, doing a little bit too much i'm sure with martel hyping her head up and then i'm sure with martel coming home and then doing the shit that he does to melody when she know he's out there still sticking his tip in coleslaw i'm sure at that point melody was like get out of here obviously you know them getting back together having a baby like all that stuff still happened so yes melody at some point you were okay with this man going out there and doing his shit but it doesn't change the fact that Destiny, if you really wanted to be friends with Mel, you wouldn't have did that shit of making that post where you knew Eric. Girl, you watched the video before you posted it. You knew, you knew, you were, you were doing a sly little dig. That's what Tisha, Kimmy, and Destiny be doing. Not to say that Mel don't be doing it, y'all, because she do. But y'all want to call it out when male do it and everybody's been teaming up on male especially when it comes to these mellow meters you know but she can't now keep y'all at arm's length she can't put a boundary on y'all she can't say i'm not doing it no not today no ma'am so then when destiny was like oh you taught her to cheat that made melody lose i taught her i taught her okay now destiny standing up and kimmy's like see this is why I knew it. We were going to blow up. Everybody was already on 10 and Tisha just has to, Tisha just had to do it. And it's like, Tisha, Tisha knew what she was doing. Tisha looks for the ways to get under Melody's skin and her, you know, girl, I'm good. You know, should we do it in big? Should I'm all Melody this, this? 
she looks for ways to try to crash that. Um, and Tisha, I'm gonna need you to work on what's going on in your household. We know that lawsuit that's going on with Marceau. We ain't hearing nothing about that. Scott Manor still not being built. We ain't hearing about that. Obviously, black being closed. Y'all want to lie about that. Now, Sunny, Miss Mamas, you want to lie about the fact that you were basically at all Moses while he still was talking to, 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 to Destiny. And then you want to sit there and try to cover it up with the Band-Aid of, oh, we single until we married. Oh, you know, he was dating. He was doing what I was expecting a single man to do. Okay, so if you're okay with the fact that he was dating Destiny, he still don't change the fact that if Destiny was somebody that you have interacted with in the way that you had, being her producer. And then when Destiny threw it there, she was like, girl, but you were my manager. You were managing my music career. And when she said that, everybody was like, oh, <laughs> well, mm -hmm, that'll do it. <laughs> you know, like, they're like, Sonny, you really got no leg to stand on, Miss Mamas. Like, you really are doing yourself a disservice trying to defend it the way you are. It's just not working. And then you keep pulling up, well, I'm the wife shit. And okay, we'll see how it works for you in two, three years. All right. Um, but yeah, y'all destiny got up and that was the end of the season or, or the mid season finale. So y'all just in the comments. Tell me what you think about the episode. What you guys think about uh, destiny and melody? Uh, who do y'all think is really to cause more for the downfall of the relationship? Uh, what you guys think about Tisha and her antics this season? Um, and how she's been really, you know, kind of pushing the envelope, you know, real sneakily, you know, oh shit, y'all forgot about Trisha. Y'all, they got on Trisha's ass too. Trisha caught a little bit of something, something. Cause girl, we sitting there asking, are you married, Trisha? Long, stop, stop it. Okay, stop making it difficult. Just say, say, you, say you're separated. Every time people ask you a question, it's, well, I, I, I mean, technically I'm married. Uh, uh, and then you will all do, Ken, try to say some shit and then they, they getting on you and, it's like y'all want to make the Trisha situation equate to the Sunny situation. And I'm sorry. I'm just not going to let y'all do it. In my opinion, I'm sorry. Although they are wrong in their own rights, they're not wrong in the same way. So we're not going to do that. Um, but Trisha, girl, uh, I'm ready for you to uh, uh, go ahead and have this conversation with Mel about the fact that you slid on over to Martel's house. I wonder if she know about that, okay? But what you guys think about Trisha and her situation with Ken? Does she have a right to call out Sunny for anything? Um, and what do you guys think about Destiny and uh, Mel and Tisha? Y'all feel like Tisha was, you know, stirring shit up? And I will catch you guys in the next video. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, and I will talk to y'all later. This is...